Hi guys, back again. Um, we, it's been a long time since we filmed anything on this A45. I painted my brake calipers red, however I've left one corner out, this back corner here, and I'm going to be uh, showing you how I went about doing it and the easiest way or the simplest way that I've found. I painted all these off, well I actually did film it, but um, it's not very good footage, so I'm just going to redo it all with one corner and hopefully Hopefully I get it this time <laughs> and uh, I'll show you the finished product and well I'll show you what we need. Tools wise are sitting behind me and uh, I'll run through that now. So what we have here is the selection of tools that I'm going to need. Oh, an extension and a hair dryer. Hair dryer is just for, clean, uh, for uh, drying the paint as fast as I possibly can. I've got some wipes for wiping down the, the wheel. I've got a wee old rag here for uh, just sort of drying it. Uh, some tools. Uh, the paint and I've got got the replacement stickers for each corner. I've also got a breaker bar up there So I've got that to a uh, not a breaker bar uh, Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called a torque, <laughs> a torque a torque wrench so we can get everything all torqued back up to spec But we're gonna be working on this one here if I walk over to it. Yes, the car's absolutely bogging I actually cleaned it not that long ago um, And it's just the British roads with the wet and the salt and the grit is ruining everything <laughs> so i'm not going to clean it for the next few while uh, just sort of let it build up <laughs> but we're going to be painting this and we're going to be reapplying the stickers so i'm going to show you how we do that you're going to need a tripod as well if you want to film it <laughs> let's go into it the first step is to take off the center cap this one that just twists on and then you just grab it from behind and it pops off dead easy um we're going to be taking off the bolts simple stuff and jacking up the car i'll just take you on a time lapse for that Next step is cleaning. So I've got these wipes, they're like a heavy duty cleaning wipe. Uh, I don't really know what else to tell you about them. That's the name of them. Um, just give it a good wipe down. These, uh, these will wipe off absolutely everything. They'll probably take off the stick if I wipe hard enough. Uh, I've been told not to use these on paint because they'll strip paint off cars. So you should be able to remove <laughs> brake caliper dust. Basically clean these up as best as you can. Uh, and then you're going to need to get some sandpaper out and just give it a quick sand down. Uh, just make sure you're getting all the all the different angles in and, in and around. But I'll cut to time lapse because I've explained it as best I can. So as you can see I went in there and sanded, I used an 80 grit, probably would recommend like an 80 or a 120 uh, just to help get like the most of the dust off that you can't really get off otherwise like it's proper ingrained in there as well as you also sort of like scratch it so that you're getting a good uh, grip for the paint so that's pretty much it, just need to wait it drying hence why I brought the hair dryer so I can speed this process up that's uh, it's definitely a must if you want to do this fast so I'll crack on with the hair drying So next on the list is masking and uh, bagging up. This is how I tend to do it. What I like to do is make a wee hole in my black bag, put the black bag over the caliper, and then put oh, this one that And there you go, you've masked off your whole hub, your uh, without like using a, a load of uh, masking tape 
What I tend to do is just like pin it down in a few places with some masking tape here and there. Uh, that's actually sitting pretty well. I mean, it's not windy today, so I could probably just get away with that. But I'll use some something just to sort of tape it down, and uh, we can start getting on with the paint. It's really that easy. In terms of like, masking up here, you could mask all that off. I tend not to because uh, for one, the car's dirty. I don't want to put, like, have to clean it to then mask it. So it's overspray, so it should just power wash off. Uh, and if not, then a polish would take it off. So I tend to leave that. But masked up the mask, the mast, uh, the main components that the spray is going to be actually hitting, and uh, we'll crack on with that. Right, so. It wouldn't be a, an Andrews build without uh, using masking tape instead of uh, using the parcel tape instead of masking tape. Next up is uh, painting. We've actually wiped it all off. We've masked off what we need to mask off. Uh, well, masked. <laughs> I've actually chose this Simon, uh, Simon Eyes VHT Red. Very high temperature red. It went on really well the first time. It's not sponsored or anything, but I would recommend using that one. It's quite good. Uh, it goes on really easy. Um, if you're a beginner, it's probably easier to work with than the Halford stuff, as uh, in my opinion. So I'll start hitting it with the, with the coats and uh, we'll go from there. Using obviously the hair dryer just to speed up the process. I don't know what the can says, but I was giving it five minutes of the, the dryer and then back onto paint and then five minutes of the dryer when I was doing the other ones and they've turned out fantastic. <laughs> So I've, uh, I've stuck the AMG sticker on, I just had to use a heat gun and just press it on and uh, hopefully that stays like that for now, <laughs> for, for the next wee while anyway until it dries. I'm not going to be moving the car anytime soon. Uh, next up is just masking, taping, uh, taking all the masking off and uh, if we need to we can use the wipes to scrub down anything that we've got overspray on uh, but I don't think we will because I've done a good job of masking bits up. Uh, so I'll crack on with taking all that stuff off just now. So I've got my top wrench out. 120 is what I usually set my wheels to. Someone can tell you in the comments below. But always check your manufacturers. I'm just going to stick these to 120. So it's just a case of torquing these to spec. It's two minutes. I always do two clicks just to make sure. You probably don't need to. I've, had, I've known for my wheels to fall off <laughs> in my younger days. So, I never tighten this one too tight 
because this needs to come back off. That's not good enough. Four bolts will hold it, and uh, there's nothing worse than when, when these all start uh, getting wrecked. Means you can never get your wheel off. So I gave the wheel a wee, a wee clean just so I can get a nice wee thumbnail picture. But the last step is literally just popping that on and doing that. That's us sorted. Right, so we're going to end the video here with me sitting getting ready to do the edit. And I'm just excited to get this out and, uh, and post it pretty much. So one wee thing to note was one can of spray paint. Done that all four corners. I bought two, didn't need it. So I'm just going to throw that in like a, a shelf or something like that. <laughs> if I can think of anything that I want red, I'll, I'll paint with that. Uh, so if, if you like this video, if you want to give us a wee like and subscribe and uh, a wee like and a follow if it's Facebook you're watching us through. Uh, the Facebook channel has been just hitting off. We had 200, uh, 200 followers the other day. That's madness. Uh, it's just going in an upwards direction and, and I can't thank you guys enough. So I'll throw links to like my Instagram and things like that if you want to keep up to date. I post quite a lot on Instagram like during the week. Uh, it's mainly my cast side of things. I don't post anything uh, Pokemon wise. Uh, stuff to come to the channel. My 924 build, the white body kit's here, the Rivnut gun has been de uh, delivered and I bought an engine dress up kit, just uh, an engine bay dress up, so like say for the bolts that hold your front quarters on, I can dress them up uh, when it comes to putting them on. Uh, so things are, are working in the background, that's going to be coming to the channel. Um, if, so if you like that, just uh, hit that subscribe, like I said, hit that follow and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!